Hi everyone, so I'm back to do another craft with me and I'm just going to show you how I add an envelope flip, flip out page to my journal. Okay, so i done this one and I thought I'd recorded it. Well, I did record it, but i done it on time lapse. <laughs> so um, I was going to add another one anyway. So I thought, right, I'll do it again. Start all over again, Yvonne. So this is adding an envelope to create a tuck and a flip out and another pocket and a little tuck inside there like so. Okay, right. So I'm going to be doing this one this side, right? So to start with... I'm using a DL sized envelope, right? That measures, I don't know what what you call them in the US, um, but it's uh, eight and five eighths by four and, actually the one that I used earlier, hang on a sec. Yeah, these are actually, no, they are the same size, okay. Anyway, I'll start again then. <laughs> uh, four and three eighths of an inch. Now, I have to trim this down because the journal that I'm working on is a traveller's notebook size. So the pages are um, four and a quarter. And I've got a video up on how to put a single signature journal together. Last video. Um, so I have prepared things so you don't have to watch me do lots and lots of stuff, right? <clears throat> done it in stages. And any of you in the UK, it was like, here's one i done earlier. What was that one? Um, was it Blue Peter? <laughs> anyway, so to start with, I don't want the envelope to be the full length of the page, right? So I'm going to trim off. I'm just checking that I'm in frame here. Get up a little bit. And there we go. So I want a little bit gap at the top and the bottom of the page then I will trim that off okay now if your journal is wider you won't have to trim anything off here so I'm going to try to trim that off at three and three quarters so that it fits this size of journal but obviously if your journal's wider you don't have to do any trimming okay so I'll just trim it down there and when you trim that down hope I've just done that the right side leaving the flap that side okay so make sure the flap is that side when you trim that down if you're doing it for um, a, a skinnier journal okay so I would then come in with well first of all actually I'm not going to take that off just now but um, I would oh it's getting windy I'm going to trim around here so that that is matching that side. I would coffee dye this first as well, okay. Then I'm going to trim off this little bit here. And take that off. This isn't something that hasn't been done before. Um, this is just me showing you how I do it. Then get whatever, you could be book page, music paper, pattern paper, scrapbooking paper, digital paper, whatever you want. And then you're going to glue a bit of whatever you want inside here. Okay, cover up that blue bit and you would take that off, right? So glue that in. I would use like a glue stick because I'm going to sew around this. Right, so glue that in like so. And then you would trim all around the edges, okay? And then what I would do is I would just run a tiny little bit um, of glue just along here, down there, just to hold it in place, let it dry before I run it through the sewing machine. So here's one I done earlier. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of how it did. That was the other one that I was doing when I was doing the other video that I time lapsed it. Okay, so. When I stitch, um, and you can see, obviously, I've put the paper in there and I've stitched all around. So I'll just go around, stitch it up, round and around, and then I'll go down, along, up and across. And I've got that. So that is going to go in that way. Or oh, do I want it that way? <laughs> right, we want it that way. Okay. So that's just some decorations that I'm gonna decorations that's just some elements stuff I am going to decorate it with so put it in place if you've decorated it beforehand before sticking it in then 
make sure that your journal's up the right way and you're putting it in the right way because you don't want like an upside down thing. So bead of glue, oops, went off, went off kilt with them. Up there, hold that down and let that dry. Okay, so there we've got a tuck and you could put a little cluster or something on there. And I'll just make sure I'm not doing this on time lapse again. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so dry weather is just so hot right so i have used uh this is from my elements kit you get two collage sheets in there and i have used a piece of that stitched around i've put a little notch there stitched all around it okay so that's going to be another little pocket on top of this envelope so i'm just going to glue along these three sides not the notch side not where i've just because you want to be able to put things in and glues a little. I've lost the lid for this somewhere so I haven't had the lid for it for a couple of hours I've probably dropped it onto the floor and there's quite a bit of rubbish on the floor <laughs> um, right so I'm going to just move it that way so that I can make sure it's right because I can't put my head right over because the camera is right there. <laughs> okay, so glue that down, and that's you got an additional tuck or pocket on the envelope that's flapping out with the tuck on this side. Then I have these ovals, they've been cut out of some form of packaging paper. And as you've seen on the other one, I had done where is she? I done this lady here, the butterfly was already on that, and I put a little label here. So I'm just going to ink up around this. Yeah, I can't believe I've done that. Done it on time lapse. <clears throat> but these things happen. Alright, glue. Use whatever glue you like. Whatever is your preference. And... We shall pop her on there, try and centre that pretty well. And I'm, like I said, because I can't get my head right over, I'm doing the best, the best I can. Okay, so that's going to go there, maybe down here a little bit. I'm going to find a little label for up here. I've got tubs of labels. All right, let's see what we have in here. Um, these are a mixture of... Artie Mays, Tracy Fox, uh, oh, a little post parcel, <laughs> no, parcel post, um, oh, I like them as well, let me see, you might have one of them, we have a look, <clears throat> yeah, I've got a rat frog in my throat, <clears> throat> it's annoying, it annoys me, um, oh, right, let's see, I'm going to use one of, any one of them, not all of them, but some of them, and I've got some words here, they are from Artie Maisie's um, Builder Cluster kit, the first one, not the second one. Um, the second one is Builder Cluster Tag Kit, which I've been playing with for about the last week. I love that kit. <laughs> I love it. All right, so that's going to go there. Little word here. And what do we think? One of them. Oh, the, mm, oh, I kind of like that. Right. These are from one of Artie Maisie's um, oddment kits, I think. Yeah, one of the oddment kits. So, now I can't remember, like, what I said on the last video and have I said it on this video. So, some of the elements that I'm using is from my new element kit, which I'll link below. And the other things that I'm using is from Artie Mays. Like I've just mentioned, the um, oddment kit and the builder cluster kit. All right, so we'll put that on there. I've been getting lots of inspiration lately from Bohemian Crafting. 
who is Eva. Um, I love all uh, envelopey things. Um, oh, she is very talented. And of course, I love Artie Mays and I love Tracy Fox. And I, I, I watch a lot of videos and I don't always comment because I watch it on the TV. Um, I sign into YouTube on the TV and I just bounce from one video to the other sometimes. Because I find it hard to craft and watch videos because that's just, no, do we want that there? Yeah. Um, otherwise I get no crafting done. So sometimes I will, um, I save the videos and then I just watch them later. I don't want that there or there. We'll have it there. Okay. See how quick and easy this is? I mean, I know you don't have to stitch your envelope if you don't want to. Um, it's all personal preference. Okay, so that's that. So you can tuck something in there. Well, I had something a minute ago. Oh, yeah. This, right? So we can tuck something in here. You can tuck something there. And let's just put a little strip of this. This, again, is from my element kit. Just want a little bit of decoration there. So pop some glue on there. Oops. Like I said, you don't have to um don't have to coffee dye anything if you don't want to. Not everybody likes to coffee dye things. Um again, that's just personal personal preference. So we don't want it to overlap onto that and glue that down because we want to keep that as a little pocket or a little tuck, okay? Right. <clears throat> do I want to put one of them? I do. Since they're out, I might as well. These are from Artie Maisie's, um, I think it's the Builder Cluster, like I said, the first one. Okay, keep that there. Just a little bit of ink. Little bit of glue. Uh, just pop that there. I might come back and do some more decorating on on this. I'm not sure. I need to put some more glue on there. <coughs> yep, I does. I does. There we go. There we go. Wasn't enough on there. So yeah, easy peasy. Adding a envelope, tuck, flip out, double pocket page. <laughs> okay. So if I come up with, well, if I come up with something, I mean, that's just a plain pocket. I've added some plain pockets to this. And like I said, I've shown and I've added these as well. Got to embellish around them. Um, if there's anything else interesting that I'm going to part of me add, I will show you in a video. So there we go. How to add one of those. So any questions, just ask and thanks for watching. Bye.